So now let's uh, go to our web browser and I'm going to show you how Pointy looks like. And right here we got it. Um, we have three projects in place at the moment. Um, before we go into a point cloud, I will show you the catalogs. Um, right now the label catalogs are uh, created for different scenes. Uh, we are going to use the one for street scenes right now. Uh, we have the option to add standard classes. So uh, the ASPRS defined classes uh, are in here. Uh, I just used some of them. Uh, we do not need all of them, uh, but what we need are some additional classes. So I already created like gravel, street signs, traffic lights, and we can create as many as we need. We can have detailed descriptions. And here, for example, I, I won't go with the standard classes for building um, because we not we do not want to include roofs in the buildings we want to separate that uh, so what i'm going to do now is just creating the new class roof and maybe give us a, a nice red color and i'm going to add this to our catalog and now we can use this class in our project so we're going into this project right now um, it's about a construction site that is scanned weekly. Uh, we have about 7 million points in this point load that I'm going to show. And right now we see the just raw upload point load. There is no classification at all. Uh, we can go to the original view and I'm going to hide the overlay of the never classified points. So now we also see the RGB information that is in the point load. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is to switch to the segments view. And this is actually where some of our magic is, uh, is hidden. So our first classification tool is the segment selector. And we can just take this one and go ahead and now label the uh, pre-processed segments that our uh, platform already prepared for us. So I can just go ahead and relabel the the houses right now or the facades and all the uh, homogeneous areas right here we can just easily be selected i'm also going to use the roofs right now um, just for demonstration i'm going to click some of them not all of them of course you can do this in in full detail and label 100 percent of a point cloud but right now, I guess we are ready for switching to transparent mode. And now we see uh, we already extracted most of the buildings and the roofs. And from here on, we can just go ahead. Um, we can uh, also label the vehicles here. There are some cars. Um, and I'm going to use another tool, the polygon selection tool. Um, to, to label more of them, as we see, they are in split into many segments or some segments, and I'm just going to label all around of them. And you would see it, it doesn't really uh, hurt us that we label for ground as well. We can just correct that very quickly with a segment selector again and extract the ground out of it. Now we see we have our cars nicely selected. Um, there might be some noise. I can just correct this with a polygon or with a segment selector again. We can hide the ground and yeah, inspect our cars. So now if we go ahead, uh, we have a construction site in the middle here. I'm switching to original view. We have an excavator, a nice red one. I'm going to get this one out of here and use the polygon tool again. Labeled the excavator. Now I'm correcting the ground. Which is hidden right now. So here we see it. And we can just go ahead and label the whole point cloud. Also for the vegetation, for the trees right here. Could also use the polygon for that. Um, might be more convenient. And we also added the 
class traffic uh, or a street sign right here. So I'm just going to take some of those and extract them. So this is the result of what we did in just a couple of minutes right now. And we can just go ahead and uh, label the whole thing. So I'm going to close this right now. After classification, we can export this to, uh, to less format and we will have the classification in the exported file and can use this in other tools um, yeah, to further analyze or work with the files.